Welcome to the link this week. Uh, thank you for always joining us. We hope we are being useful to you by providing information that you can use every week. Practical things. And uh, tonight we have a practical thing also. We are discussing apps or applications. Uh, many of you have um, WhatsApp and stuff like that on your phones. That's an app. Now there are many, many apps in the world. And many people are studying IT to do apps. But how do you make an app make you money? Not all apps can make you money. Tonight my guest is uh, Alan Rakatungu, who is the CEO of Sente Limited. Uh, it's an app uh, in the financial uh, sector. Welcome, Alan. Thank you, thank you. What sort of app, Alan, uh, what sort of apps make business sense to build? Because people can build apps because they've done IT. But what mm. makes sense business-wise to build as an app? So thank you very much, uh, Sam, for uh, inviting me onto this show. Uh, so my answer to that is that an app, mm. which is, is remains an app uh, until, you know, in order for it to become a business, it has yes. to become a, a real business. Yes. Meaning that it has to follow the fundamentals of business. Mm. It has to have customers who are paying and it makes money. Okay. Uh, so, so that's my answer to that question. So in order to have the app that makes money, mm. what do I need to do before I start to think about building one? Uh, think about a normal business, mm. right? A, a restaurant, okay. right? Uh, in order for you to, to have a restaurant that makes, you know, makes money, mm. uh, you have to cook food. Okay. People have to come mm. and uh, buy that food and pay you and your cost of making that food has to be lower than the, the money that you're given mm. so that you make a profit. Okay. So apps are also like that. Uh, they, they cost uh, some money to make, mm. but an app that is not used by anybody is a, is a dead app. Okay. Uh, it's a, it might be okay. It's an app, but it, it's a dead business. Right? It doesn't make money. It doesn't make money. Okay. Yeah. Um, do I need to do, some people say, research? Is there such things that I do research and then said, okay, maybe there's this gap in the market. I know it's important even for the, for the app. Uh, you know, I, I keep going back to the fundamentals of business, right? Yeah. It's, it, it, doing an app business mm. is like doing any other business, right? Yeah. Uh, one, you have to uh, have passion for that business, mm. right? Uh, and then you... You know, when you have passion, you understand the problem quite deeply. Mm. Uh, so you then build an app that solves a, a particular pain point for your mm -hmm. customers. Mm -hmm. and, and if they use it, uh, then, then you can make some money. Okay. But I want to point out something, Sam. Mm -hmm. um, apps, without just saying they're normal businesses, the reason why we have a lot of, of hype around them is that they bring out some very interesting business models, mm. right? Uh, for example, WhatsApp, you, you don't pay a shilling yes. and you use it every day. Mm. And when it was bought, it was bought for 19 billion. Mm. Uh, why? Right? Uh, <coughs> the answer to that question is, uh, especially in the app business, is that if you're not paying, yeah. you are the product. Okay. So like Facebook, you don't pay because you are the product. The, the customer is somebody else studying your numbers who is studying the numbers <laughs> and is a uh, okay yes yes yes, yes. Ah, that's a very interesting thing we can mm. touch now that's a whole different animal mm. how does an app maker transform an app into a man into money making and the key word is transformation yes 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 uh, just to follow up on the last thing yes. i was saying uh so apps bring out some very interesting business models mm. right um so unlike traditional businesses, mm. right? I was giving the analogy of, of a restaurant. Yeah. Uh, a lot of businesses actually, other than apps, have a limitation of distribution, right? Absolutely. Because you're in a, you're in a location and, mm. and people either have to come to that location or you have to go to them. And, mm. and so they, they're already limited by, by that, mm. right? So what apps do is that they make distribution easy at an, an instant global, mm. right? So you can sit here, I know some Ugandan developer who developed, you know, a few games, yeah. put them on the store. They are consumed, not even in Uganda, but like in, 
West Africa, mm -hmm. Australia, mm -hmm. and is making money doing that. Wow. Yeah, so, so, so distribution is the key business difference, model, is yeah. the key difference, mm -hmm. right, uh, for, for apps. Okay. Mm -hmm. the apps have an ecosystem by which they work, and that's why some succeed and some not, don't. Mm. From your standpoint, what do you know about the app ecosystem and how it works? Yes, if you go to restaurants, even restaurants have their own ecosystem. Mm. It is food, the standards, the stuff, stuff like that. Mm. So apps, how does their ecosystem work? Uh, so I think before you do an app, mm. uh, you need to understand the, the different business models yeah. that apps use. Mm. Or like you said, an ecosystem, mm. right? Mm. Uh, so the most basic, and okay, actually the most basic but most complicated is the one where you give it to the users for free, mm. right? You say don't pay a cent, use this app, it's very interesting, you can chat, mm. but as they use, they give you data information and you can use that data and information mm. and sell it to somebody else. Okay. Uh, the other one is, of course, where uh, they, they say the freemium model, right? Mm -hmm. So early users pay, then after that you get some advanced users to... You know, early users don't pay, mm. but then advanced users pay for the product. Okay. Then there are those apps like, like Sente, where yeah. as, as people use, yeah. they buy products, they pay, mm. right? So Sente, Jumia, Mobile Money, uh, actually the most, you know, like MTN Voice, yes. that's an app. Mm. Right. Mm. Every time you you make a phone call, you pay using yes. airtime. Yeah. Right. Mm. So I think the the ecosystem is just understanding uh, the different business models you can use. You can use to mm. make money. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and sti uh, Alan, still still on the ecosystem. Mm. At the front end, I'm a developer. Maybe I'm not even a developer, mm. but I'm a business person. Mm. Uh, who else plays a role in the app making money? You say distribution. Who else? I have an app. I've built it. Mm. What supports me? What support systems? How do they work? Um, you know, you, you're asking me these questions and you're saying apps, but you could as well be asking business, okay. right? <laughs> Right, because uh, because you've 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 you've, okay, you've, you've done your app businesses of apps. Yeah, businesses of apps, <laughs> okay. right? Mm. So you've done your app, it is finished. Yeah. Then, then yeah, what? you need you need customer service, mm -hmm. you need marketing, yeah. you need sales, uh, you need uh, for us who are processing money, you need yeah. risk and yes. compliance, yeah. uh, you need a CFO, you need HR, right? Uh, so you need the normal things of business. Mm. But like I said, the fundamental difference. Mm. Uh, in the app business models is that I don't need a lot of human resource mm. to build a very big business. Yeah. Mm? And that's the advantage that, I that apps create. The reason why the richest people in the world have done apps. Uh, absolutely. Right? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Jeff Bezos, mm. Bill Gates, uh, Mark Zuckerberg is because the, the resources needed to to build a big business are not the same as you know a normal business mm, brick and mortar that said and that's i think a very big misconception mm. it requires a lot of money to get an app to make business sense i don't know whether that, that i has, get you yeah, yeah yeah in order to get it off the ground to make it a business mm. you need some money where does the money go a lot of it goes into uh what they call customer acquisition okay yeah, you, you have to push, to push, mm. you have to get those customers to try your app, to use it. Um, sometimes even you have to give people money to try your, right? Mm. So that, that's where a lot of the, of the money goes. Okay. Yeah. And then issues like those who carry you and all that. Uh, Alan, yeah. uh, <laughs> the time I was given is, uh, is, is running out. Um, mm. uh, thank you so much for, just, you know my scratches, I can yeah. see you're surprised. Yeah, even yeah. me I'm surprised. Um, one more question, but they tell me my time is up. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll bring you next time and we discuss more because I'm sure Ugandans are not, are not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. Yeah. You mean with the time is... <laughs> so, viewers, you had Alan. We had him for a short time. I've never given enough time, but hopefully one day in future, with your help, we can get enough time to uh, get you to learn more of these things. That was the link tonight, speaking about apps.